Okay, today we're gonna uh, paint the little coffee mug for those of you who would love coffee or tea, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna show you how to draw a simple uh, coffee mug with no effort. We have a little triangular, um, rectangular uh, canvas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my coffee mug on the right side of my um, canvas. And then if you want, you can always put a little tea bag here later on or a little spoon to make it more cohesive. So what I do is I very lightly draw a straight line almost down to the bottom. And then I come over here and I draw another one. And because coffee mugs usually are round on the bottom, I'm gonna first do a straight line here and then curve my edges so that we have a mug. See that? Now for the lip of the mug, we're gonna come a little bit outside of the mug and put another, see they're all straight lines. And the back of the mug, you're gonna see more than the front. So I'm gonna make my back side a little bit wider. And I'm gonna make a little line here. And we're gonna fix that when we put the paint on it. Okay? These are just little sketches that we're doing for a coffee mug. To do the handle, think of it as a question mark sign. So, you know, if you do a question mark sign like this, well, that's going to be your handle. You can come here. And that's your handle. If you go the other way, you can just come here and leave this area open. So come out further. And we can cover that up later. Okay, so this is your mug. Now to paint it, I'm going to use almost a dry brush and I'm going to do it orange and yellow and all those colors. So the colors that we're going to use today are orange, yellow, a little bit of dark orange, brown, green, and white. So first of all, the um, orange is what I'm going to put on my mug. And if you notice, I don't have any water in my brush and I'm just putting it down there. And I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow, and I still haven't rinsed my brush out. And I'm going to mix them both together. See that? And it's starting to look nice and blended. Sometimes you overwork things, and you don't need to. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my orange and come on the bottom here. And all I'm doing is putting color right now. I'm not really worried about how my mug is looking or anything like that. I'm gonna come here and I know that we're gonna have a handle here and this is gonna be open so I don't care. I'm gonna go over my pencil line. And I'm gonna pick up some of that orange again and put it in the middle of my painting and take some more of that darker orange and go on the sides here. Okay, so now at least we have color in there. We know where we're going with it, right? And we can bring this handle out even further if we wanted to. Some mugs are like really fancy schmancy and they have, you know, a big opening. So we'll do that. And I'm gonna, and then afterwards you can erase the pencil lines that are on the outside that you don't want. Now for the rim, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow and I'm gonna do a really straight line here for my lip and come back in this area here. See that? And we'll come and give it more detail in a minute. So we need some coffee in our mug, right? So I haven't rinsed my brush yet. I'm gonna take a little bit of my brown and I'm gonna just tap my brush so that we know we have coffee in here. And this is just putting color down. I mean, you can make this as elaborate as you want, but you don't really need to. Okay, so there's that coffee. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush because I don't want any of that brown on my coffee mug. So I wanna give my coffee mug some details. So I'm gonna go with the original orange that I started out with, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that orangey red 
and I'm going to come right underneath the lip and start figuring out where my shading is going to go. Now on this side here, it's going to be darker. So what I'm going to do is take some of that orange and my red, and I'm going to start working my handle here on my brush, on my cup. See that? Now it looks like a little fancy mug. I want the part that's closest to you to be lighter, and this part is going to be darker, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that orange again and that red, and I'm going to come underneath here and put some of that color in it. And I'm going to put a little bit of brown from the coffee right underneath the handle of the mug and separate it. Then I wipe my brush and move it around. And now for the handle to stand out, we need to put some color in it so that it doesn't look like a one big mishmash of stuff. So I'm going to take a little bit of that orange paint that I have, and I'm going to take a little bit of white, and I'm going to come here and highlight my handle. If you want to make it thicker, it doesn't matter. It's your coffee mug. Take a look at the one you have at home and see what you like. And here's our handle, right? Now what I'm going to do is this area here has to be a lot lighter. So I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow and some of my white, and I'm going to do a little highlight. And I'm just patting it down so that it doesn't look so straight and so stiff, right? Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my orange, dark orange, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of my mug. See that? And I'm gonna move it, and I'm very softly doing this. I have hardly no pressure in my brush, see that? And I'm gonna move that paint around Okay, so I want a little bit more of that color on my handle so I can come back and put that color in it. Yeah, okay. So now for the back part of our mug right here, we need to highlight that a little bit. So the part that's in the front it's going to be lighter, right? Because that's the part that you see the most. So we're going to put a little bit of that yellow there. And on the back, it's going to be a little bit darker. So we'll make this part a little bit darker. And like I said, tomorrow when it's all dry, you can get rid of these pencil lines. I don't usually do that, uh, but just so that you guys can see the painting a little bit better, I did that. But... You know, you don't need to do that. That's just if you're not sure where your lines are going to be. So I'm going to come here and just put a little bit of that orange in there with some of my brown. And that's going to be a coffee latte, whatever you call them. I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of that dark right underneath here to separate that handle from the mug. See that? I want my handle here to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my orange and my yellow and put it on here with some white coming down the side here. Now for the bottom, we need to um, put some shade around here. And a lot of people make the mistake of putting the shade like it's all the way on the bottom here. So what I would suggest is just put a little wash of the brown color that you did with your coffee and have it go down until it disappears.
and I'm gonna come on my mug and make this a little bit darker so that it stands out a little bit. See, and it, I'm just tapping my brush, see that? I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just gonna tap. And then move it out, lift it up. See that? I'm gonna put a little bit darker brown underneath here. And then for the background, because you know I don't like just plain old white backgrounds. And the bottom here, you're gonna do a couple of layers because you wanna build it up. You don't want one big glob of brown paint on the bottom. So for the background, I'm gonna take some of my white paint and I'm just gonna slip slap it in the background with whatever colors left on my brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow. And I don't necessarily have to go all the way to the edge of my canvas. I'm just gonna put my color in there. Just so that we don't have a very white canvas. Put a little bit here and here so you don't see those marks so much. And see how that's coming out really nice. And this is a reflection of the mug. So this is gonna be a little bit more orange over here. A little bit more on the edges here of my mug. That's looking pretty good, right? And come back here with some more white. And I don't necessarily have to go all the way to the edge. That's fine. Don't don't stress over that. Some people want to go all the way to the end and it just, I don't know. It, it, to me, it, it softens it up a little bit if you don't really go all the way to the end of the, of the painting. So if you make it irregular, it kind of looks better, in my opinion. But if you like it solid, then, you know, that's okay. So now you come back again. Remember, I said we were going to do layers on the bottom here. So now you come on the bottom again and start putting your brown shades in here. And enjoy your coffee. And we'll come back next week and paint something different. I don't know what we're going to paint next week. But if you paint this little mug, send me pictures. Tell me what you liked about it. Uh, it's something very simple. You don't have to, you know, worry about it too much. And have a nice coffee with your friends. And have a good weekend.